So I've had a request today from a subscriber in New Zealand asking me how to flash an ESP32 device without using Nebuchadnezzar. So the way we do this is we go along to settings and we go down to our add-ons, add-on store, and we select ESP Home. There we go. So we select that, we go install, and once that's installed, we go switch on the watchdog, auto update, and show in sidebar, and then we go start. So this will take a short while to start up. Once it's started up, we can go into the web UI. Just give that a minute. There we go. It's all set up. As you see, I've already created quite a few of these ESP devices. So now what do we do? We go to new ESP device um, and we go continue. Now we give it a name. Now always remember these names need to be lowercase and no spaces. So I'm going to call this ESP works because this one really works well. There we go. And the one I'm using is an ESP8266. So I click on that and I am now going to install this and I'm going to select plug into computer running ESP home dashboard. So what I've done is instead of plugging my ESP32 into my computer and trying to flash it via the browser, I'm plugging it directly into my home assistant. My home assistant is running on a home assistant yellow but it could quite easily be on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm not sure how this works with Docker or with a other type of install, but certainly on a Raspberry Pi, this is really easy. So I click there and I go connect. What it will do now, it will start flashing that device. Now, the beauty about this is we don't have to worry about pressing the boot button or anything. It is as simple as this. So that's how easy it is. It's all loaded up, as you can see. So now we can just go stop and we can go and find our ESP works. We can look at the logs and as you'll see, it is all connecting up to my Wi-Fi network. So it's all ready to go. And now all I would do is I would go here, I would edit my YAML code and I would now add in whatever sensors I wanted from anything I could select here on the ESP Home website. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can see the one I've done for the MHZ19, the CO2 sensor. But that's all for me today. Have a great week. Bye for now.